everybody, it's Kathy from Dreamcraft Journals. Thanks for coming to my channel. Today will be part one of a nature journal that I'll be creating. And today we're going to work on the cover. I'm going to be using some fabric on the cover with a curved spine. I've never done it before, so I'm, I'm playing today. Um, what I've done is I've have two eight and eight and a half is it eight and a half eight and a half by five and a half inch cover with a two inch spine and the spine is going to be hidden so I'm not going to use it right now. What I have cut out is a curved spine. And I cut this out at two and a half inches. And then I scored folds at a quarter of an inch on each side. And then I kind of trained it to be curved. I've never made a curved spine journal. Um, I actually haven't even watched any videos on it, but I'm going to give it a whirl. Now I've cut these out because I want those little ridges on the spine. So I cut four out. I'm gonna lay them where I think they should go. And I cut these at one and seven eighths inches, four of them. So I'm going to glue them down first. I'm kind of just doing what I think makes sense. And I hope it does make some sense because sometimes I don't make any sense. <laughs> so we'll see. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? So. Probably should go up a little bit. And one more. Needs a little more glue because I moved it around. Let me hold that up. Okay. That's that so far. Now, on these folds that I made, I'm going to glue the covers. Actually, I'm going to use double-sided tape on either side. Clip it. And the same thing on the other side. Okay. 
Okay. And one side off, put this in place. I want to get it used to bending the other way as well. That's good for right now. Now the other side. And let's put this in place. Just like that. Keep training it to be curved. Probably would be easy if I had something tubular to put, but I think this will work. I don't want it overly curved. Okay. Before I cover it with fabric, I want to put something on the cover. And that something is going to be a beetle. And I'm going to put this actually underneath the fabric. And then I'm gonna kind of try to sand the edges so that you see the outline of the beetle. We'll see. <laughs> I got these at uh, Joann's. Today they had beetles and they had butterflies. They had birds. Originally I was going to put a couple, but they're too big to do that. So I think one is just the right amount. Now, let's see how I'm going to do the fabric. Just to give me an idea, I bought a quarter of a yard, and this is a denim. And I want enough to Oops, pardon me. To cover the entire piece. And it can go up. It can actually stop behind the curved spine. Okay, so I'm going to cut it right here. Okay. Now, let's see what I'm going to cover it with. I think, I 
think I'm going to use Mod Podge. Can you use Mod Podge on fabric? Might help if I was reading these in English, right? Huh. It doesn't say. Maybe I should test it out. Take a little piece of fabric. And just test it. that that looks like it might work i actually was also going to go over it with mod posh because that'll make it easier when i go to sand it so I think Mod Podge will work. I hope so. Okay. We'll give it a whirl. And the good thing about me trying it, that when you want to go and do it, you'll know whether it works or not, right? I'll be the guinea pig. Whoops. Okay. Again, make sure this goes over and over. Okay. Now that I've done that, I'm going to move it out of the way so I can... Okay. Here we go. The problem's going to be that it dries so fast. Another problem's going to be getting it around the edges of the beetle. Okay, let's give it a whirl. And we're gonna go just at the top of it. Let's see, well, I think it's gonna work. You know what'll help me if I put this and I'll know where I'm going. Okay. 
little leg there. We have to go up into this little part here. I can do this with this because I curved the edge by accident. So actually, it's perfect. actually feels like the glue has dried and it needs more. But I think it's working. I'm so excited. We've got a little thing on top of his head. I think when I put it on top, that will also help. Okay, let's continue. I go in and put some more on here. Use that bone folder, which is what, duh, I could have been using. I could hear you all through the, the video saying, Dummy, use the bone folder. Okay, I think that works there, and I have it glued here. Now, for this part. I'm really just going to lather it on. Let me just go over this here. Okay. And I'm gonna have to curl it again. I definitely want it in the spine, in the fold. I know there are tons of YouTube videos on how to do this. But I don't know, I just didn't feel like watching them today. I kind of thought to myself, I can do this. We'll see. Okay, let's add some more. Okay. Well, there's some dryness. There's some dryness there.
Okay. Let's see what we got here. Still needs to be some dealing with this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do, stretch it to the inside. Whoops, sorry about that. I'm not sure. Hmm. I guess it makes sense to, let me just see how this works. If I wanna fold it up here, like you typically would do. Okay, that's, that's working. Okay, I do not need to go all the way to the spine because I'll have a cover page, inside cover page. So let me Before I do this one, let me cut it correctly. Okay. Turn it over. Turn it over and over. Okay, and this one. Okay. 
here. And let me cut this. A bit straighter. Okay. And I could have tucked this and everything, but I didn't want the bulk from the fabric. This will be fine. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Now, this is where I ask myself, Do I cover it all? And I think the answer is yes. I kind of like the color that it turns. It turns a little darker. And then I can actually add also some inks to it because I don't want it to be so green green. It's just soaking it up. Okay. This is a fun part, except I'm going to have to, I have a feeling when it dries, there'll be some brush marks, but I think that will be hidden with the, when I put some, add some dyes to it, some distress inks. Oops, and you don't want your fingerprints on it. Like I just got.
It's actually drying very quickly. At least the top layer is. So it's kind of cool. Get out of there. And I want to go over the edges. Particularly on the top. Ever so slightly. Whoops. And on the bottom. And I want to keep molding the back, the spine rather. So it's still curved. Oh, I think this is going to be cool. Well, I think what I have to do is stop here for part one. And part two, what I'll do, I need to let it dry. We'll add the cover plates, the inside cover plates. And then we'll work on the cover and figure out what kind of closure we're going to have on it. I want to thank you for watching and this is a whole lot of fun and it was relatively easy um so please try it out and I have to be sure to keep I see some wrinkles coming okay well have a good one and thanks for tuning in I'll see you next time bye